Hello everyone, welcome back to some more RimWorld. I've did a, I've done a little bit of things off camera, we made this little room a little bit bigger. I've started building a tool cabinet and a steel electric tailoring bench. Which can work at 40% speed if you don't have power, but there is also the non-powered version which can only go at 40% speed. However, it will never require electricity and you can see the electric one is more expensive. We're going to be building some things here in the course of this episode and generally expanding things. I'm going to arrange them in a way that will have tool cameras both here and there because one workbench should be able to connect to two tool cabinets. Now I'm not sure if they connect to multiple which is what we're going to find out this episode I guess. And also in the meanwhile Vertoli got a double infection. First in his torso, then in his right arm, and Harris over here has a minor, in, uh, a major infection in her right leg. We might just go ahead and add an operation and install a peg leg, and then release her because she is incapable of dumb labor, caring, social, scary, firefighting, and cleaning. So I don't, I'm not sure if you can. You should be able to fire and stab people but you're incapable of social so you can't be a warden and you would probably have a negative impact on the rest of our people you're okay with animals you're you're a decent cook you're not bad at art but that's about it you're more of a specialized soldier if we had like crypt to sleep or something sure that would have me a lot more willing but right now I think we're much better off just Taking off your leg, installing a peg leg, and then releasing you for a positive bonus with the Notorious Foxes at minus 96 right now. A gang of bandits. They don't sew, they don't build, and they rarely trade. They enrich themselves mostly by raiding and robbing the more productive groups in the area, which is basically the builder's, sto uh, the builder's rest stop. Their technology level depends mostly on who they've managed to steal from most recently. Mostly they carry gunpowder weapons, though the luckier ones may have some advanced energy weapons. And some may just like to stab people at close range. So, you know, having one less enemy in this list of four hostiles, that would be great. We've also got Wilson here, who is decent at melee, is not bad with animals. Decent cook, he's a good artist, I guess, for what we have. But... Yeah, he's a fast walker, he's slothful, and he's a psychopath. So I think we're just going to release him as well. He's got a recruit difficulty of 83. So what we're probably going to do is we're going to strip him. And then we're just going to let him go. Meanwhile, we'll have to take care of Tolly, who's now untreated. Let's just prioritize treating him. You're going to haul those. Uh, can you strip Wilson for me, please? And then we'll let him go. But yeah, we need to keep an eye on Vertali. This infection sprung up with 0% immunity. And I don't like having major infections. I don't like extreme infections either. Especially in the torso where you can't even get rid of them. Anyway, you are to be released. Because you're now stripped down. And that's all lovely. We're going to get some medicine. And then we're going to cut Naharas up. I get that for once we'll have to use the... Uh, the good medicine. I did not allow you to get a shirt. Let's see, are you... Okay. No, I'd like to strip him, there we go. Just keeping an eye on the infections, etc. You are not allowed any clothing. Don't you dare. Uh, we, can... we can't assign them anything. And we are now cutting open, or more likely, cutting off, the Harris's right leg. After which, once she has recovered, we'll let her go, because we're not monsters. Although, hearing those sounds might make you think otherwise. Well, I've had a deep talk with Knight. God, that sounds terrifying. But yeah, Vertoli doesn't have a right eye by now. Or right now, rather. So, you know. 
That's going to impact his medical skills, etc. I can actually take a look at that. I Here, 80% speed based on medicine alone. Okay. Um, harvest fails up a little bit. Food poison chance 1% because of cooking skill. Cooking speed slowly going up. Although, you know. He needs a sight for a lot of things, so we're likely going to get him a biologic, uh, bionic eye soon enough, not a biological eye. No, he should have biological eyes. Can you stop trying to wear a shirt, Wilson? It's not funny. I mean, I'd like to let you go, just, you know, give me the opportunity to let you go. We're releasing him. There we go. Get lost! Don't nick our gear. We should probably give that a haul. Although it's indoors, I believe, so it shouldn't really matter too much. I'm gonna expand the uh, the stockpile in here, but these four zones and tell you the oh you can't haul. Great. Again, just keeping an eye on Vertoli. You now have a peg leg. Devil Strand cowboy hat. Oh dear. I want you to wear that. You are a social person, aren't you? Uh, work. Yeah, Knight's a social person. You now have a Devil Strand cowboy hat, which... Does give extra 15% social chat impact. And that might help with uh, trading, I don't know. Also, we're gonna go to miscellaneous. We're gonna place down a comms console somewhere. Probably over here. And then we're going to start being able to hail traders that are up in the air. Instead of just random people. There goes Wilson. Stripped of all his clothing. We didn't get any relation for that. That is very cheap. But then again, he's no longer a strain on our food supply either. How annoying. Uh, I guess we'll release you as well. Doesn't really matter too much. And it might save us some food. How are you doing, Fatoli? Oh, that one's major as well. But it's a 51%, so... Hopefully that should be fine. Yeah, they seem to get, seem to be at the same immunity. There we go! We now have our comms console up. Beautiful. Where is night? You're stargazing. Nahara is no longer incapable of walking. There we go. You're stealing our gear, aren't you? Stop stealing our gear! Bloody thief! I mean, it's probably our fault for keeping them in a cell with gear. And everything. There you go, now you're properly naked. Now you can... Get all, uh, go away. Bye! Don't care about you anymore. I mean, we probably saved your life. Just look at Fertoli. He's in danger again. We can't communicate with anyone right now, but, you know. We might be able to send them some silver, but I'm not going to do that. Anyway, I have to do something real quick, so I'll be right back with you all. Okay, there we are. Sorry, had to do uh, some things. We're working on the things here, which is good. We've got Fertoli still in the medical bed here. He is... 88% there, so hopefully he's not gonna die. We've spent so long trying to keep him alive. It would be so cheap of the game if he just died at this point. We have some gentle snow going on outside, which is cool because it will actually color the entire map. As you can see, it's already a bit more whitish than it used to be. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And we actually have a little bit of snow piling up here, which will affect your movement speed, by the way. Which I find to be really cool. We still have the wild boar here over here that's like, Oh no, heart attack! And yes, we did have a bulk goods trader actually arrive in the meanwhile. I sold them most of our leather, etc. Which netted a healthy profit, and I bought like five more medicine. I've decided to start using medicine on Fratali because, ah, I don't want to risk it. And we still don't have our heal route, for crying out loud. 
I don't think we can really grow it inside as properly as we can here. Oh, I also sold the stone, so we're going to be building a lot more stone with Samantha. I don't think she's going to mind. And we have a little orbital trade beacon in here, which will actually beam things up to the ship and it will have it spawn near it outside. I'm going to start deconstructing this wooden table here. And we can actually get a wooden stone cutting table right here. Then we can hopefully have some things work in the workshop here instead of just outside everywhere. And we have our kitchen here. It's starting to look organized somewhat. So just wait for like the group of seven raiders that's going to mess us up. The husky is eating the body there. We have immunity. Thank God. Vitaly, you keep scaring me with nearly dying. Speaking of nearly dying, he's starving. We're going to have to hunt a couple squirrels. And maybe a boar. I don't want to hunt the boomalopes. They're pretty deadly. Skippy. Skippy, where are you, Skippy? Skippity-doo-da. You were hauling things, okay. Oh, right, there were still the visitors here that were trying to hold last from. Hey, we need that warg. That's food. Just waiting to happen. Hello, visitors. Do you come bearing gifts? More importantly, do you have food? They probably brought their own food. For Tolly, might have to do a little hunting, which is dangerous, considering the fact that he is half. He, he only has one eye. You know, might not be the best idea. Ironically, our medic is this older guy that is sadly not quite able to perform. However, you can get back up to your feet now, soldier. Just get right next up in that squirrel's face and then blast him away, please. There we go. That's the accuracy we expect from someone with a single eye. Oh, dear. At least you're trying. It's fine. You didn't kill that boar. That would be great. He's got a poor mood. I wonder why. He's starving. So is Skippy. But at least I know Skippy can do something about it. Once she's done hauling things. We might actually be able to... Despite only having grown them like 80%, we're probably able to start harvesting this corn. Which is admittedly not growing at full speed. Have we hit him? Yeah, we've hit him a couple times now. Good. Come on, Vertoli. I know you're missing an eye, but this is just shameful. There we go. Wow, he suddenly dropped a bunch of alpha meat, beaver meat for some reason. Come on, Pablo, stop eating. Oh, that's a lot of rice. That's a lot of rice. Thank God. We need that. That way we can start cooking things again. And we're not going to starve, which is great. Skippy, please, for the love of God, be careful. There we go. Finish that alpaca off. Or, you know, just ignore it. We still have butcher bills, okay. Just making sure. For Tolly, you are like the one weird guy that's like sleeping all the way over there. By the way, I need to set these as owners. Knight and Vertali, so they're happier. Because if there's one thing I learned, is that Vertali likes to mentally break. Which is bad for us. Fortunately, this heel root is not growing. We could use some more heel root. For obvious reasons. I'm trying to find if there's like rich soil somewhere, which I don't think there is roughly around here. Oh, there's rich soil. There you go. 
We'll put a little growing... Oh, we, we can't? Oh no, it's like there's some mud in there as well, but there's some rich soil. Murray has been eaten by a boom rat. I think that's fine. Now I'm like, did we have someone called Murray? No, we didn't. That was one of the raiders that died somewhere. I mean, I'm all for Murray being eaten. Murray's on the menu today. Hopefully we'll get a combat trader at some point where we can sell some of these terrible clothes. They're probably not going to give us much money for it, but hey, it's, it's money in the bank, really. Right. Okay, you do have one tool cabinet being added, that's great. And so do you. Great, we can now start getting rid of this one. And we can start building another tool cabinet here. Oh dear! A group from Builder's Rest Stop are visiting the colony. There are families arriving of your colonists or prisoners in the arriving group. Villager Guts? Wow, that sounds great. Grandson of Pablo and son of Vertoli, what? You're the father of Guts and... Wait. I, I'm, I'm losing it now. This is Pablo. His father is Marat. And his father is for... Oh my god. When were you born? I want to know. Because this doesn't really make sense. Apparently, this guy's son is... 58. Biologically 972 years old. This doesn't make sense, but it's amazing. It's gonna be a hell of a good family reunion, I guess. What a coincidence that we just happened to end up crashing near our grandfather... Uh, father. I like it. That's fun. It's weird, but it's fun. There we go, 112% work speed. That's good stuff. Do you have a debuff for working in the dark? I think you do. So, in true fashion here, let us get a standing lamp here. There we go, that should help. You should be connected. If not, I'm gonna raise workers. That's not good enough. We need connections. What's Reacher doing? Reacher's not doing badly. Oh, right. Knight, talk to Ed. He's got stuff, apparently. We can sell things! I don't need frag grenades. I don't want awful pistols. We have a poor PDW. Uh, I mean, we. I guess we can sell an incendiary launcher. They have an LMG and a minigun! Oh, it's superior. Just the sound of superior makes me want it. They've got some medicine for 15. That's great. We could use that. We can sell some simple meals. Although, I'm not sure if we're really in a position to be selling all that. Let's do it anyway. We have a little bit of warg meat. Thanks, Ed. Hey, Guts. How are you doing? <laughs> this is cool. Poor Skippy. Someone will appreciate you someday, I promise. But yeah, we are getting the worship up and going, which is great. I'm almost tempted to go for like a production bench, followed by the two or, uh, tool cabinets in the middle. Oh my god. 
Uh, let's see, we have more things that can be fitted here anyway. We've got the stone cutter, we've got the uh, electric tailoring. So if we then go to brewery, for example. If it wasn't for the door there, we would be able to do it. So what my reasoning here is, is simple. We place a brewery like this. And then we place, for example, a wooden sculptor's table here. And then we could place something else over here. It's amazing! It's working out! And then we could have tool benches in here, but yeah. I'm just gonna go with the old-fashioned way here. The one we found out works. It's good in theory, and it certainly works for double solutions like that, but I don't know, I kind of like this one. Eh, we'll see. Anyway, we want to get a brewery up, because brewery, yo-ho, right there, and then get the wooden stonecutter's table, which we already have, so never mind. Wooden sculptor's table was the one I'm looking for. And then we can place those. There we go. I mean, I could place the benches here, but I don't know, I want to have a room in the middle sort of to walk through for them. Which reminds me, I want the lamp to be in the middle. That's just a little nitpick I have. So just place the standing lamp over there. Which is exactly in the middle of that walkway. I like it that way. Bye visitors. Hope you had a good time. We should shoot a grizzly bear. Random thoughts that might lead to your death in RimWorld. Let's shoot a grizzly bear! That's not gonna do anything wrong. Look at the snowy map. It's the 14th of fall. Winter is coming. That's the worst part. Winter isn't even here yet originally. Uh, or technically. It's gonna get a lot colder. Thankfully we have a brewery. Not that we have anything growing that we can brew with, mind you. Do until you have ten. Details. Requires hops. At least you have the buff. Wait a second. I see who you are connected to. Needs to be placed near workbench. Yeah, that makes sense. But it's like, who are you exactly connected to? I mean, it doesn't really matter. I think I might actually have too many. We can actually uninstall these and see. Which is amazing. That way we don't have to spend 200 more. Yeah, you have still got bonus from all those. Sweet! Well, that's a lot better. There you go, if you need some workbenches placed, there you go. That's what you need to do. Unfortunately, we can't uninstall and replace them down there, that way we can have some more space in the middle. I might actually do that one day, just to arrange it for my own pleasure. And now for a case of genius there. Genius is optional. We're gonna place a switch here. We should hopefully make it so that if we press a button here, Instead of turning these all off. Pablo! You're making a mess. But yeah, hopefully. Did you just prioritize building that? Thank you. Reconnect you there. I'd like to reconnect you to the switch instead. That's the only thing that requires power this far. I might move you later down the line. We can add a bill. Make a cowboy hat. Make me a cowboy hat, why not? No, we don't have any leather right now. We 
can now make clothing. Which is good. That's going to be useful. I mean, we've got plenty of clothing. We can't recycle it, though, I believe. Which is annoying. Oh, look at all the snow. We might have to start hunting some more animals. There's another... Oh, yeah, you've been dead for a while, haven't you? Yeah, you, you were killed by that grizzly bear. I think... You should be chopped up, for starters. Uh, we might be able to... Hunt you, hunt you, hunt you, Skippy. You are my number one hunter. I might get Fratali here to drop the... Uh, starvation. Animal starvation. Husky! Well, she's in trivial. We will unrestrict the animals. For a start. They'll be able to free roam and get their own food. From the pile of bodies, if need be. That was a thing. Something just got attacked. Hunt this rabbit. Because we can. Yeah, I think the bear might have ate a bunny or something. I'm not sure. Vertali's gonna chop that one up, so we're gonna get some food from that, which is good. Where's Pinky? Pinky's like, wandering over here now. I don't trust a bear. Pinky, I might just make Skippy your wanderer, your master. Skippy, I need you to go over there. Take Pinky to the, uh, to the bodies. And then have Pinky eat the bodies. It's quite simple. Just gonna make sure that the dog stays alive. There you go. Have at him. There's a whole selection for you here. They're slowly de decomposing. This might seem brutal. It might be a little brutal. We're gonna kill this wild boar while we're here. And you can now start listening to Skippy again. We go, we killed a boar. And that one of those boars just ate our bunny. It was you, wasn't it? Tolly, where are you? Tolly, um, you are over there. Let's tell you to hunt. You're not gonna put your you're not wearing a stylish cowboy hat. You still don't like us for some reason. Hello, dead alpha beaver. I'm not a fan of this whole uh, snow. We need food. Trader from Boulder's Rest Stop is approaching. Hooray! They will hang around the colony for a few days. Trump is like, I gotta eat that. Bloody hell, Trump. Behave. Learn to be obedient for once. Come on, Skippy. You're nearly level 13 sniper. Come on, you can do better. There you go. Look at that. Three hits in a row and he's just dead. Pablo and Knight are doing some research right now. Samantha is just working away for us, which is all well and good. We still have the toolkits in here. Very useful, don't get me wrong. Now Skippy is idle. Skippy is idle? Oh, hello, visitors. Knights, I'd like you to make an introduction. Raw charisma, as they say. Who's your master? What does he do? It's Frenchie! There we go. You have a bionic leg. Oh, dear. 
We could sell Trump. I don't think we should. They sell Boomalopes for some reason. It's, gro it's engineered for chemicals production, but we don't get anything from that, so... They have some medicine, but it's very expensive. I'm tempted to go for it nonetheless. We could sell a normal pistol, I guess. We've also got a normal shotgun, survival rifle. We can buy... Uh, no, we can sell components, but I don't want to sell components. I don't want to sell anything, really. You have a terrible trade on offer. Oh, there's the friendly boomalopes. I was about to say, Jesus Christ, please do not. Hey, you're welcome to come in. Ooh, cargo pods. Corn! Come on, guys. Please haul the corn. We need the corn. It's food. It's like a bunch of meals. We could always use some more food. How's your cooking doing, Fatali? Ah. I would say getting there, but you're not quite getting there. A lot of things are getting bitten off of those boars. Oh well, we're all hauling in some rice. Come on in, everyone. Winter has begun. Yeah. You don't say. We can't harvest anything here. And we can't really grow anything inside until we get a sun lamp down. How much power do you need? Of course you don't tell me how much power you need. That would be too easy, would it? Yeah. Um. Keep getting triggered. Uh, not triggered, but... I keep getting worried by that. Uh, we can go build things like a simple campfire to help keep warm, but we're, we're plenty warm in here. Outside is a different story. Poor Trump. Wait, you have... You have obedience? You have obedience! Why didn't you tell me? Trump! Finally! When was that? Two days, six hours ago. You should have told me. You should have come up and be like, Hey, I listen to you now. This is great! Now that Trump can actually follow us around... Bye, trade caravan. Soon we will be able to release Trump upon our enemies. Just a thought alone. Glorious. Having said that, we still need some more traders and stuff. This is out of power, but that doesn't really matter since this is already really cool. How are we... Uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll have to toggle you off, I guess. Trump now listens to people. That's great. We need to start training you on release. You can attack distant targets. If anyone dares fleeing from us, they'll be dead. We've got more rice. That's good. Just a smidge more. Fatali, why do you... Uh, I don't understand people. Pablo, thank you very much. You're making some meals. What is your chance to spoil the meals? 4%, oh dear. I mean, at least we have someone cooking now. You just ate from those boars, didn't you? Yeah, he might have finished one off, actually. So, lesson learned. Actually, do something with the butchered animals. Playing horseshoes. Now you're gonna butcher, great. That means we're gonna get some more meat going. And some leather, or boar skin in this case. Oh, we've, we've got a decent collection, I guess. Nothing to write home about, but still. We're getting a decent amount of meals. Samantha's idle. Why did he go research? Oh! Samantha, why did you just... Insult Knight. Knight's disfigured, hard worker versus lazy. You guys are rude. 
I mean, at least I'm not fighting one another, but damn. Behave. What you're cooking like? Four with, uh... With an interest, I guess. That's fair. Uh... Do we want to kill the grizzly bear before we end the episode? The thing is, I think we do. So where is Vertoli? Where did you bugger off to? They're training Trump. They're gonna train Trump. Hooray! I hope we have an increased chance now that... Uh... Okay, we still have an 18% chance. That is unfortunate. I'd like you to get a... Why not get the PDW instead? I want to have Skippy. You can take the assault rifle. There we go. Because you're the best shot. And then we have Pablo, incapable of things. Oh uh, yeah, it's just gonna be Fatali and... Skippy. We're gonna be taking down that bear. He's sleeping right now. Grizzly bear! Yeah, you're pissed. I wonder why. Just wondering if we can outrun him. I think we can. We most definitely can. Well, it does, it does help that we hit him just about everywhere. Oh, yeah. I hope he doesn't bear a grudge. And we've got a raid incoming. No, sorry. Oh, God. They've got an M24 sniper. Oh, Jesus Christ. We are dead. That is serious stuff. I am gonna end the episode here. If you enjoyed the video, then please do leave a like down below. Or else you might bear a grudge. Who knows? Leave a comment if you have anything to say. And until next time. Maybe the last time. Have a good one, folks!